Walk into any coffee shop and you're bound to find people hunched over keyboards, working away at their laptops and tablets. Turns out they're not just there for the cup of joe and the free Wi-Fi. Scientists have found that they may need background noise to work better. Anahad O'Connor writes about it in the Times as Well blog and he joins us here today. Hi Anahad. Hey. So just so people know what we're talking about, let's play a brief clip of uh, this ambient noise that we're talking about. Sounds good. <laughs> So you think that the quieter, the better for concentration, but that turns out not to be true. Yeah, so if you're actually trying to problem solve and think of ideas, then having too much quiet, um, it allows you to focus, but it doesn't help you think outside of the box. So a little bit of noise helps distract you a little bit. It's, it's sort of like if you're trying to think of ideas and you leave a problem and come back to it, you're better able to, uh, to solve it. So these, there are specific kinds of tasks that this applies to. Um, these are creative endeavors primarily? Yeah, so if a, process, if a task is very detail oriented, um, so like trying to proofread or file your taxes, then you want quiet because it helps you focus on, on detail. But if it's a creative task where you need to think of ideas and think outside the box, then a little noise can help uh, generate those ideas and get the juices flowing. So you tell us in your story about a company that's already taken advantage of this. Yeah, so there's a, a company um, called Coffitivity, which is basically these guys in Virginia who noticed that when they were trying to work on some startups, they were getting a lot of work done in coffee shops. But when they went to a quiet office space, their creativity and their productivity just took a nosedive. So they started to record the ambient sound in, the, in their favorite coffee shops, mm -hmm. and they put it online, and it's gotten pretty popular. How, how popular? Uh, so the first, the second day that it was up, it got uh, tens of thousands of page views. And in the last three months, it's been something like uh, over two million page cool. views. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So these are people sitting in their homes, which are too quiet for their creative endeavors. Yep. And uh, getting artificial coffee shop noise. Yeah. So if you actually just go to the website and you click play, it sounds exactly like any bustling um, coffee shop in the United States. And uh, as a sort of self-experiment, I actually had it in my, uh, in my ears as I was writing the story, and it seemed to work uh, surprisingly well. That's I, I, a little bit shocking. I can't tell if that's a measure <laughs> of how lonely we've all become you know, in the digital age or whether it actually makes sense, but it's interesting. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me.